Hey guys, today we're here on Lake Nacogdoches in East Texas and we're going largemouth bass fishing. We're going to do a couple things today. We're going to throw some small swim baits out deep early in the morning time, trying to catch those fish that are suspended. Then later on in the day when the sun gets up, we're going to go out there and throw some topwaters for some schooling fish. Hopefully try to catch some bigger ones doing that. All right, Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Check that out. It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the southeast region every week. Cobia! Big one. And a monster! Look Beautiful. at that! That's a Tawakini giant. This is Let's Fish. Hey guys, we're here on Lake Nacogdoches in East Texas. Lake Nacogdoches is kind of a well-kept secret. It's not a very big lake. It's only about 2,600 acres. Even though it might be small, it fishes really, really big. You can catch fish from one end to the other. You can catch some really big fish out here. A couple years ago, they even caught a 15 pounder. So you can catch a fish of a lifetime. Of course, we're out here in the middle of the summer. It's been 100 degrees for a couple days now, and the fish are starting to suspend. Usually they're kind of hard to catch this time of the year like that. But I think we have an idea. Maybe we can go a little deep, wait for the sun to come up, and hopefully try to find some of those schooling fish. Those schooling fish can have some big ones. So hopefully we can do that. Also, we're gonna have this week's fishing report from your local region, from our insider reporter. For right now, I'm gonna get the boat put in the water, get all my gear set up, and I'm gonna kick it back to the studio for your weekend planning. Happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. The Salooner tables are showing fair fishing conditions all three days of this holiday weekend. Peak daytime activity will start at 224 Saturday and 301 on Sunday and 341 Monday afternoon. Night action picks up around 159 Saturday, 236 on Sunday and 316 in the morning on Monday. Depending on your area, you can expect the sun to rise around 704 and set around 752. Evenings will feature a moon that's 92% visible. Stick with us to check out all of the current fishing reports from throughout the area. And I'll return with Bassmaster Elite Angler, Chris Zaldane on this week's Ask the Pro feature. Hey guys, we're out here on Lake Nacogdoches here in East Texas. We're gonna be doing some largemouth bass action today. Now, we're in the heat of the summer, guys. I mean, dead into the summer, it's 100 degrees every day. It usually gets pretty tough this time of year, but we got some tricks for them today. We're gonna to be throwing small, small baits at them. 2.75 rage swimmers, we're gonna be going after those suspended fish. That's what we're gonna do in the morning. We're gonna be waiting for that sun to get up. That sun gets up, we're gonna go try to catch them on top waters, man. Uh, KVD splash, things like that. Something we can throw out there and, and get them to hit when they're schooling. Should be a pretty good day. It's gonna be a hot one, but I think we'll get through it. There he is. Not a bad one. Barely hooked. Oh. Whew. Man. Big head, big mouth, little body. We're out here on Lake Knack, middle of the summertime. And I mean, it is, it is hot. It's hot. No one's out here because it's so hot. We're out here on Lake Nacogdoches, uh, fishing for largemouth. Man, it's, it's been really hot out here and we're trying to catch them on a top water today. Top water, some other things. Problem is, man, when it gets like this, they get really suspended, it gets really tough. Guys, not a lot of people fish this time of the year, but there's ways to catch these fish. We're gonna try to show you how today on Let's Fish TV. And we get this one back in the water and pick back up top water fish and see if we can catch another one. Hey y'all, welcome to my favorite part of the show, the Alabama, Mississippi and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. This segment is brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmison with Ugly Fishing. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. You can check out the money saving opportunities on the homepage with Lure Net, Salt's Gone and Pure Flats Fishing created the Slick Lure. Along the Alabama coast, the highlight of our uh, recent outings has come at night. Uh, really uh, finding some ways to beat the heat 
go and catch a lot of fish, a lot of speckled trout, white trout, and a few redfish mixed in or on the uh, dock lights on just whatever shoreline you want to pick. Both the east, west, and southern shorelines of uh, Mobile Bay are holding fish. A lot of white trout, smaller speckled trout, a few decent ones mixed in. Slick lure in the, in the Slick Junior has been really effective. Ozark Shiner and Piment were our top colors. Ronnie Daniels, Fisherman Guide Service, said the dog days of summer are beating him up pretty bad. He said the speckled trout bite has been real difficult, but they are catching a few either early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Savannah, Georgia area has numerous fish opportunities right now. The redfish, speckled trout, and flounder are all the top targets for these guides. Uh, redfish are back in the marshy areas in the back creeks and backwaters. Uh, the speckled trout more around the grass beds, grass flats, and the flounder around the drop-offs and the channel ledges. Hey, y'all, thanks for checking out this report. Y'all keep what you need, leave the rest. God bless, guys. gonna jump. There's so many of them down there and yet they're still hard to catch. But you kind of just stay with it, like we said. Guys, we're out here on Lake Nacogdoches, right in the middle of the summertime, trying to catch these hard suspended fish. I'm having to go light line, spinning rod, but you can get some fish like this, guys. It's not wanting to really eat, but we can just trick a couple of them. I switched right there. Back to my rage swimmer. They got energy though. Oh, it came off. That's all right. Got to put me another rage swimmer on there. He did a little toll. It's all right, another good one though. I think we kind of figured it out. So what I got is a baby squadron head, okay? It's the baby one. The other ones are, are a little bit longer, like this one. Okay, that's a regular squadron head. This is the baby. It's got a lot shorter shank. That way you can put this 2.75 on there. It's a 2.75 rage swimmer. The key to this is to make sure you get this straight. So when you put it in, you want to run it down there, and it's got slits in there. It's got one big slit going down the back. You want to make sure you come right up through that slit. I get it about right there, and I have tons of this Loctite. I get it at Lowe's, wherever, and just put it right there on the neck. Just feed that on there. When you feed it on there, just make sure it's straight. It'll run way better. They won't bite it if it doesn't run straight. And it's already on there, like that glue to that, that rage swimmer glues instantly, so it's ready to go. And I'm just going down there and I'm, I'm almost crappie fishing it, guys. I'm throwing it out there and I mean, I'm not even, with this wind, it's really hard. I mean, you gotta keep it down there, right there in the middle of them. And they just kinda eat it just like a crappie, man. They're not, there's so many of them down there that one of them will just eventually bite it and they'll kinda get schooled up. Pretty cool deal. Really hard to catch these fish doing something different. I threw up in there and I could see on my forward phasing sonar, I mean, none of them even reacted. So, I mean, at least I can get a bite here and there on this thing. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Mamba Boats, ride with pride. Strike King, tie one on. Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. You see that shad it flicked up? Boy, it threw up a big old shad. Got him. Just had to make a little move. if he's any good not a little bad one. Oh yeah look there you can see those shad look right there that's the size shad they're eating right there that's why they're so hard to catch 
I don't even know if he's got a hook in him. He, he ate it so good. So the sun's getting out. They're starting to, to pop up even more and start schooling more. So we came out here, kind of got through with the, the swim bait and the Demiki rig. This one, up, this one got up pretty good. Oh, there we go. It's good though. So we made a little move. Now we're, basically I'm just throwing this Strike King Splash up there. You know, a lot of times, most of the time I'll throw sexy dogs and stuff like that. But when they're eating those shad like that, I'll, I'll try to downsize. And a lot of times when it's tough like this, they don't really want that sexy dog, that big commotion, making a lot of movement. If you notice, a lot of times I'm barely working it, not making it splash too much. I know it's called the splash, but I'm really just walking it like I would a spook and just being real subtle with it. I got one already. <laughs> I wish I had another rod hooked up. Maybe I can hurry and, oh, they're going too good. Oh, fat dude though. Maybe I can unhook him real quick. I still hear him. Oh yeah. Woo, got him. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. You see that shad it flicked up? Boy, it threw up a big old shad. Well, not a very big shad, but it threw it way up in the air. Look at how they're eating this thing. Can't even see that splash in there. Oh. That's pretty awesome. Not a bad one. I haven't used pliers on all these fish. They eat it so good. Not another bad one, guys. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's report. This week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina, the leader in water sports along the Grand Strand. Anything you want to do on the water, we can make it happen. It's fall, come down and book and take advantage of some of our incredible charters that are getting out inshore, near shore, and offshore, and taking advantage of the incredible fishery we have here in the fall. Visit crazysystemmarina.com for more information. Let's talk salt water. I tell you what, along the beaches right now, the king microbite on those schools of man and mullet that are making their run up the beaches in North and South Carolina are incredible. The Yopon Reef out of North Carolina is gonna be a great spot for the next couple weeks. Lots of man Hayden making that move, lots of mullet making the move, and that reef is perfect. Get out there or also try that Cape Fear River Channel. Big live baits. If you can catch some bluefish, get them out there and troll them. Great baits to catch big fish right now. And be patient, spend some time moving around. You'll find some big fish this time of the year. This has been your Carolinas Report. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. <laughs> That's awesome. I started sitting there on top of the water, man. What a day. What a day we've had. I mean, just absolutely smashed them today on top waters. Late in the day. Oh, man, what a, what a fish. Look at that. Look at how she's got it in there. <laughs> she wants to jump. Uh, you can't even see it in there. Look at that. I mean, just ate it. Whew. About to get some pliers out on that one. Not bad catching fish like that out here on Lake Knack. East Texas, man, 
catching some topwater fish like this. Pretty fun day. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. That's a big one right there. <laughs> How awesome is that? There he is. That was pretty cool. I thought I had two for a second. It's barely hooked. They're all starting to be better ones, if you notice. Just a little bit better than the ones. Not a bad one, though. Especially when you can see them like that hit, man. That's, that's really awesome right there. Lake Nacogdoches, man, right here, East Texas. It's about eight to 10 miles away from actual Nacogdoches, Texas. Fun fact, Nacogdoches is the oldest town in Texas. The lake does not fish old though. The lake fish is pretty darn good. Another, it's another good one. There. Oof. There he is. It's a little water action. Finally getting going. They're still busting around us. Not a giant yet. They all seem to be a little bit small. It'll get, we'll start catching bigger ones and bigger ones as the day moves on. They're just now getting going. Oh, come on. Settle down. They're going on behind us. Let me, let me get up in there real quick basically on every lake it does this you know you can usually find some type of schooling fish it's usually late in the late in the summer like this um, everything like i said that thermocline starts getting higher the shadows start pushing up higher that's why we can't hardly catch any fish on the bottom right now and uh usually what happens is, is the sun comes down i'm no scientist but the plankton start pushing up the shad feed on that the bass feed on the shad it's a whole it's a whole cycle going on Besides all that, I just like to throw a topwater fish blowing up, so it works out good for me. There he is. Got him. Just a little guy. coming
Oh my gosh, that made the day right there, guys. I mean, I don't know if I can keep on fishing out here after that. That made the day. Oh, we got one hook in her now. Come here. Oh, look at that one. What a day. That's a great one to end on, man. You can, they kept on hitting it and hitting it. And they weren't big ones. And then I see this big one roll up right behind it and just come up right up, right up underneath it and just eat it. How awesome is that, man? What a day on Lake Nacogdoches, East Texas. Guys, it might be hot. It might be summertime, it might be tough fishing, but you hang out here long enough, then you can catch some big ones, guys. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Visit Mississippi. Wanderers welcome. Powerful. Total boat control. Balls out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on. Challenge your limits. Welcome back everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Taylor wants to know, what is the most memorable moment in your fishing career to date? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler Chris Zalde. Uh, 2019 Knoxville, Tennessee. I was sitting like in the bottom, like bottom five in the classic 2019. On day two, I came back and weighed a 20 pound bag, throwing a swim bait, doing something I'd really love to do, just going out, having fun. And it vaulted me all the way up to third place. So. Uh, that was the most memorable, rem memorable day two Bassmaster Classic 2019 in Knoxville. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Hey guys, we're going to talk a little bit about the gear I use today. First off, the bait, a KVD Splash. Now, when you're throwing topwaters at school and fish, you can use a lot of different things. I opted for this one because I started seeing the shad out there. The shad were really, really small. Sometimes I throw a sexy dog, sometimes I throw the splash, but when I see those shad being really small, I throw something small with it. I don't throw the smallest one, and here's why. It's because I have to make really, really long casts. You gotta stay away from those fish. So I still want something that I can throw a long ways. And you can see I threw it a long ways today. Now, I got it on braid. I always throw topwaters on braid, usually because I can cast it a lot further with braid. The rod and reel, I have a Super Duty 300. I usually throw all my braided stuff on Super Duties. This 300 lets me have a lot of line and lets me make long casts. The long casts are key for catching schooling fish like this. The rod, this isn't your typical uh, topwater rod. It's actually a spinnerbait target casting rod. It's KVD's uh, Team Lou Signature Series rod. I've just kind of messed around with a whole bunch of different rods and this is one I really, really like. Like I said, I'm trying to make super long casts and I want to be able to hook up with them because usually they hit right off the bat. I'm not catching them really close to the boat. So that's my gear I use today. Hope this helps. Hope you learned how to find them and catch them today on Lake Nacogdoches in East Texas. Andrew will be back next week. Guys, I hope you had as much fun as I did. See you guys. Mm -hmm.